What's going on everybody, my name is Cyrus and welcome back to some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact and today we're going to go over the closed beta test and kind of go over that stuff that's going on currently with the game but before we go ahead and get into that, make sure you guys go beyond plus ultra and smack that sub button down below if you have not subscribed already as well as click that bell to turn on notifications also and also make sure you go follow me on twitter at hydros place if you guys are new to me if you just want to follow me on news updates and all that sort of stuff regarding my hero academia and all their good stuff make sure you go follow me on twitter at hydros place links to all that stuff will be down in the description down below for you guys but we're going to be talking about the closed beta test for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, and the closed beta test is actually done in terms of signups. So you can no longer actually go to the webpage and sign up for the beta test. As you could previously, you could actually click this button and it would actually take you to the closed beta test sign up, and that is no longer clickable. You can't click it, and it is done. You can no longer sign up to apply for the closed beta test. And they did also tweet out right here that it does say, we are no longer recruiting trial version testers. Many applicants applications i am really thankful to you they really are thankful uh winners will be sent an email by the end of november 5th so thursday which is the day before the closed beta test does start and then thank you so yeah the my hero academia ultra impact closed beta test the signups are done you can no longer sign up and you know they'll be picking the winners and you'll hopefully get an email if you were picked uh by november 5th before the closed beta test does start on the 6th of november so Hopefully you guys who did apply, you actually do get in and you'll get to be a part of the beta testing. I know I am hoping that I hopefully am, am one of the people that are picked because I really would love to do content on it. And I would love to actually be able to just play the game ahead of time just so I can see how well the game is developing and stuff like that. And then also share my thoughts and stuff like that with you guys. But if I don't, I'll definitely be, you know, trying to uh, catch up on the news and trying to see everything that's going on with the game once uh, we when you get like information regarding the closed beta test. So that will be a thing as well. So you know, uh, and things were when you do apply for the closed beta test, it was said that it would be Japanese uh, participants only. So that made me think, even though you could apply with your Google account, like I apply with my Google account, which its region is set to US, right? My actual Google account, I did apply and it did let me, you know, actually apply with that Google account. But at the same time, I'm going to think that they're probably not going to accept those, you know, because they are looking for JP residents. You know, who knows? Maybe they'll actually pick them just because not actually sure. But uh, in terms of who they're actually going to pick, I believe that they'll look at the Google accounts if that's a thing and uh, actually pick people that are in the Japanese region. So they'll probably look at the Google accounts and kind of weed out all the people that are you know, not from Japan, right? And then pick from the people who are from Japan. So I did apply as well. I applied twice. I applied with my actual Google account and I applied with my Japanese region set Google account that I did make a while back for my Nintendo Switch and stuff. So I did apply with that. So hopefully I'll receive an email. Maybe I'm very much hoping so. And I, because I really want to be able to do gameplay and share all the experience with you guys around the closed beta test. Cause you know, this game is something that I've been looking forward to. I've been looking to a, looking forward to a new My Hero Academia game because you know, My Hero Academia, at least in the West, is very, very popular. If you guys haven't already, make sure to go check out all my global release theory videos and all that stuff regarding My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. All those will be linked down in the description down below or click the little I annotation above to check out those videos as well. Um, very much hoping for a global release. If they don't put this on a global release, I feel like that would actually very much hurt the game. You know, maybe they're just looking to Japanese players to just at least test the game and then, you know, they'll get a feel for that and see how everybody is, you know, maybe, you know, getting excited for it. If maybe there's something they need to change, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, they're testing the Japanese community first because a lot of this stuff does come from the Japanese community and they do take the word from them uh, very seriously. Uh, and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe they'll, you know, they're trying to do all that sort of stuff first. Like I know Dokon, I believe Dokon listens to the Japanese community more so than the global community. Unfortunately, that is the case. So maybe it'll kind of be the same way for this, that they'll listen to that. Maybe if stuff is like wrong with it or if they need feedback for it and stuff like that, maybe they'll listen to them first. You know, really not sure uh, what they're going to do with the global release. But my theory is that a global release will hopefully come because that is a huge market tap that they will not uh, be tapping into if they don't do it. So I really do think that, but I did do a whole video. I did a couple of videos on the global release. If you want to check it out down in the description down below, so make sure you go check those out. And as well as the gameplay mechanics and stuff like that, I did go over the gameplay mechanics. If you want to check out those videos, all the videos that I've done so far linked in the description down below and in the I annotations up above to so make sure you go check out all those videos. Cause you know, I'm definitely, gonna, I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely excited for this game. I'm excited to see what this game is going to be about, how this game is going to play. And just the future of this game hopefully is longer than Smash Rising and Smash Tap ever was. 
because you know I love my hero. I'm I'm very invested in my hero in terms of like the anime and stuff like that. So I really love the show and I love you know playing the games and stuff like that. So this is a game that I was really hoping to come out because I did play Smash Tap. I've said this multiple times. I have played Smash Tap. I really enjoyed Smash Tap. I didn't really much enjoy Smash Rising, but I did enjoy Smash Tap. So if we do once we do get this new my hero game that I've been very much looking forward to, I can't wait to actually play it. So that is the thing there. But I'm probably rambling on for too long. I don't want to ramble on too long in this video. But if you guys are enjoying it, though, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hopefully with closed beta testing, hopefully a lot of you do get picked. You know, fingers crossed. I'm very much hoping, like I said, to get picked. Uh, let me know if you guys did apply down in the comments down below. Did you apply for the closed beta test? Are you hoping that you get in? Did you apply with a U.S. region account? Like, did you apply with the, like, your account that you set, you know, for where you live at? Or did you apply with an actual Japanese, uh, made Google account? Let me know all of that stuff down in the comments down below. Cause it'd be great to understand, you know, what you guys were applying with. Because in my opinion, I am suspicious that they will probably accept people from the Japanese region and not accept any others. So I'm not really. Uh, entirely sure how they're going to be picking so they could just they can pick people from any other region too people i mean the application allows you to apply with literally any google account so you know not in uh not entirely sure how they're going to go about picking people but they did a, like i said the closed beta test is done and we'll know by the end of november 5th the end of number no the end of november 5th i can't talk today by the end of november 5th you'll be actually you'll know then and there if you did get picked or not so keep an eye on your email, keep an eye on your Gmail and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the Twitter account for this account linked in the description down below the website linked in the description down below. If you want to check it out there as well. Uh, I did do translations for like a lot of this stuff on the website. Make sure to check out those videos as well. Um, but yeah, so November 5th, we'll know at least that is the time that you'll know if you did get picked and then November 6th, the closed beta test starts. So I cannot wait for the closed beta test though. <laughs> you won't be able to purchase anything so everyone is basically just going to be getting gems and stuff like that in game so obviously no one's going to be purchasing and with the closed beta test uh there will actually not you can't transfer your account over from the closed beta to the full game closed beta testing usually is the case usually the account does not transfer over and this is the case with this game uh you're going to be sent an apk i believe in the in your email and you'll be able to install the apk on your android android device this is also for android only this is not for ios ios is not a part of this it's only android applicants that are going to be getting a closed beta test uh so people will be able to install it on their android device play it and you know kind of test it out hopefully there'll be a feedback section i'm very much hoping there'll be a feedback section if i myself get included as well as uh as well as any other people if and hopefully there is feedback like a feedback little uh, thing at the end of it that way we can send our feedback in and hopefully you know say what we do and don't like as well as when this game does come out on the closed beta test if i do get in or if i don't i will be doing translations and stuff like that shout out to the homie Goresh, who i'm gonna be <laughs> probably hounding a little bit to help me because i don't understand japanese but i'll try to do my best uh once we do get all that stuff also there is an official discord as well uh for the my hero academia game as well so make sure to go check out the discord also and make sure to join my discord discord link for my personal discord link in the description down below so make sure you join that if you haven't already talk about my hero dokon all that sort of good stuff as well there but yeah so that's gonna be doing it for this video guys make sure you guys do subscribe leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic day